In this tutorial, we'll see how to use TextFSM regex based template in Ansible CLI parse module for parsing device flow commands. In the previous video, we have seen how to use NTC templates. This was already having a lot of NTC templates for the network devices. Here in the documentation we have seen earlier. So NTC template contains TextFSM templates for network devices and here we can write even custom text fsm modules here in the text fsm documentation we can see this is a module which implements a template based state machine for parsing semi formatted text so this will be using regex logic for parsing the text data for the learning purpose what i will do from here i will take one of the already available text of some template and edit it based on our requirement i'll take a copy of this and we can put it in our directory before that we'll start writing the playbook here i will copy the content from the previous playbook ntc templates demo i will paste it here and here we need to change this to text custom here we'll be getting an error saying that template not found because we need to give the custom template name or location i'll give ansible playbook and 0903 enter so here it is looking for the templates in the templates directory or in the same directory where we have the playbook either we need to create template within this directory or we can create another directory called templates and put it there i'll create a directory here templates and we need to give the file in this format I'll create a file here and change this to show version. We'll see how to parse show version command. Save it and from here I'll copy the content. Paste it here. Now we'll try running the playbook again. Now this is able to parse the device output using this particular template. Now if you want to customize this, you should have some understanding on regex logics. But if you are a beginner in programming, I would suggest you to first understand all these concepts and try to solve all the requirements using existing templates itself. And if you are not able to do that, then you can start exploring all these regex options because our first aim should be to understand all the ansible concepts so here what we'll do we'll try to change the hostname logic here we are getting r2 we'll try to trip this number in regex logic if you want to ignore the number here what it is doing is before uptime it is taking all the strings and then it is tripping all the spaces so what we can do we will try to give a slash d so here it will try to remove the last digit i'll save it Now we'll try running the playbook. Now, if you see the host name, so it is taking only the letter R from the host name, it is stripping two. Because here, before the spaces, I am deleting the last digit 
from the host name and due to this logic it is stripping number two and if i remove this it will try to read the complete host name this is one small example of how to edit your existing text fsm template now here we have one more option called template path we'll try to set that as well if i try to rename this i will call this underscore new now again this playbook will fail because it will be looking for ios show version now we can give the custom path for that we can use template path option under name i'll give template path so we can verify that in the documentation so it is under parser and we need to give the complete path right click i will copy the path paste it here so now i am giving the complete path of this particular file save the file and now we'll try running the playbook so now also this is able to read this particular template in this way you can use even the custom path for the templates I hope now you have a clear understanding on how to use CLA parsers in Ansible.